In this video, we are going to be learning how to install the OpenVAS system vulnerability scanner on Kali Linux. Unlike other vulnerability scanning tools like Nessus, OpenVAS is completely free. It is used to search for known ports, check for services with known exploits, and also a very high level web threat scanning. So let's see how we can install the tool. The very first thing we will do is open our terminal and update our local package repository with the command sudo apt update and press enter type the password for my user after my local package has been updated we can install openvs with the command sudo apt install openvs and press enter do you want to continue press capital y and then press enter after the installation has been completed we have to now run the setup process so type the command sudo space gvm dash setup and press enter this will take time so wait for the setup process to get completed when you get this output it means your setup is completed you can do additional check to confirm so you can do additional check with this command so type sudo space gvm dash check dash setup and press enter and as you can see i get an error saying that my installation is not completed yet and it is telling me to follow the instruction marked with fix and run the script again so under fix i'll copy this command and paste it and press enter and now wait for the fix to run and as you can see after the fix has run i also get an error so in order to fix this error i will go back to the previous command with the upper key in my keyboard and change the scap to cert and press enter and after the script has ran my setup has been successfully completed we can check again with the command sudo space gvm dash check dash setup and press enter and as you can see, I get a confirmation saying that my GVM is successfully installed. Now at this point, we are ready to start using OpenVAS. But before we do that, let's set the admin username and password. So to do that, copy the command from the link in the description and paste it in your terminal. Here, we are creating a new user called admin2. And this is the password that has been generated. Don't worry, we can give a easier password from the dashboard. So after this command has run, type sudo gvm dash start to start your open bus and as you can see my service is already running if your service was not running this command would have started the service next open your browser and go to the ip address 127.0.0.1 and press enter here type the username which was admin2 here this is the username and this is the password so i'll copy the password and i will paste it here and click on sign in and as you can see i have signed in successfully and after we are signed in the first thing we will do is change our password so on the extreme upper right corner you can see i'm logged in as admin2 i will click on my settings and in the upper left corner i can see the edit button so this is the edit button here so click on it here under change password for the old password i will copy this one more time and paste it here give a new password i'll just call it password p a s s w o r d I will confirm my password p a s s w o r d and save and now if i log out my username is admin2 and my password is password and sign in as you can see i'm signed in successfully so this is how you install and configure openvas on kali linux if you want to stop openvas in your terminal type the command sudo space gvm dash stop and press enter and as you can see my openvas has stopped now in a future video, I will show you how to do vulnerability scanning with OpenVAS. This video is only for installation and configuration. So if you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.